What's up guys, it's CJ Lipstrew from Pocketnow.com. By now, anyone who's using HTC Sense 2.5 should know about Cookie's Home Tab mod. It's been a huge hit on XDA developers, and if you haven't heard about it, you definitely need to go back and watch our previous detailed video on it. It takes the Sense interface to a whole new level with new features, widgets, and customizing options. It basically makes the whole experience more enjoyable. Well, Cookie's Home Tab just received a major update in version 1.8. So in this video, we'll be walking you through all the cool new features. Let's get to it. Alright, so I'll just jump right into it, starting with some subtle new quick links. As you can see, we now have some convenient switches here. So we can turn the phone radio on or off, we can toggle Bluetooth or Wi-Fi easily, we can quickly turn the weather animation on or off, uh, push mail, we can set the phone to vibrate, silent or flight mode, and then under those switches we have some options for disconnecting data, uh, locking the screen, restarting sense, and restarting the device. So some convenient quick options that we can now set for our quick links grid. <clears throat> As you can see we have this music player down here. I'll get to that feature in a minute. So let's go over here. If we click Winmo settings it'll actually take us to the start menu settings menu which is nice because by default if you go to start and then go to settings it'll actually take you to the Sense 2.5 settings tab and then you have to go to menu and then go to all settings which is pretty inconvenient if you want to drill into some of those deeper settings so let's go back at the top here I've set some notification quick links so we can easily jump to messages email call history or we can dial directly to our voicemail so some nice new quick link types available to us so in the last major update, we received the ability to customize this main home screen. Well, now we can actually do that with all four levels, which is pretty amazing. So now we can customize the top level. We can customize the home screen, the quick link screen, and even the bottom level, which used to be blank. So let's go back to the top here. And as you can see, I have a flip clock weather combo widget. And below that I have this new widget, it's actually the music player which links to the Sense 2.5 uh, music tab. But one thing that's cool about this is that you actually don't need to have the music tab enabled at all in order to use it. So that's pretty cool. And if we go to menu and edit home layout Let's go to the first level and if we tap and hold on it we can change the different layouts here so you can have a large one, medium one or a small sized one so pretty cool so let's go to the next screen so one thing that's new here is this little drop down option for appointments so I can go ahead and show two appointments I can adjust it to show three appointments or I can show them all so this is cool because I like to have my appointments uh, only showing the next appointment. So if I wanted to see what else I have going on in that day, I can quickly drag it down and take a glance. And then I can close it again. So really convenient. Let's go on to the quick links. As you can see, you can add other widgets on this screen now. So it's not just restricted to only quick links, which is nice. I've put the music player down here the next screen I have an analog clock, notification bar, uh, those are widgets we've seen before but here's a new one this one is for tasks and you can actually view tasks now not only appointments so we have two different widgets for those and then you can drag it down and take a look at all your tasks or collapse it as well. With the analog clock we have a new feature, so we'll go to Edit Home Layout, Extra Space, 
And as you can see, there's this little tab here, and if we drag and pull it, we can actually enlarge or de decrease the size of the analog clock, which is pretty cool. And if you wanted to, you can drag and move the clock around now. Maybe put some other widgets next to it. So that's pretty cool. Let's go done and we'll go back to the home screen okay another new feature in this update is wallpaper control so we can actually go to set wallpaper and here we can change the home tab wallpaper the lock screen wallpaper and even apply the wallpaper to all tabs and for each category we have portrait and landscape options so under home tab we can set the portrait wallpaper or set a separate landscape wallpaper and for portrait we can actually apply a widescreen wallpaper so if we use that option when we go to the quick link screen and scroll left and right it'll actually move the wallpaper with it and then when you flip back vertically you'll have that new sort of um, view of the wallpaper so pretty cool and then for the lock screen you can only set the portrait for all tabs you can set portrait and landscape so pretty cool options here okay moving on let's go to the lock screen and we've seen this before we can customize the lock screen by adding new widgets we can move them around that sort of thing uh, also we could have the HD mini style vertical slider or we can set it to have the left to right slide to unlock mechanism or we can even go with the standard Windows Mobile 6.5 style uh, lock screen so I have the HD mini style and as you can see there's this new notification bar here so if we tap on a notification and then slide it down it'll take us directly to that tab so let's test that out again this time we'll go with call history or right, that was messages it took us to messages and then we'll go again and we'll do that with call history so another convenience feature there. Let's go to menu and this time we'll check out Cookies Home Tab Editor. So if you used uh, Cookies Home Tab mod before you know that this is your main control center where you can customize and set all the different options. So we'll just run through the options quickly check out some of the new ones look at the old ones so here we can set the amount of quick links on the quick link screen we can increase or decrease the number of pages for the quick links uh, set the default page we can show or hide empty quick links hide icon frames the text text background the page indicator here we can change the program selector between list and columns view so we've seen those before so let's go to lock screen and we can enable the custom lock screen lock on standby show the lock button play the weather animation after locking we can change the unlock style between manila windows and hd mini and at the bottom we have these new options for the lock slider shortcuts that i showed earlier we can hide all the slider shortcuts show them all or set it to auto so only when you have those notifications let's go back applications here we can change the different functions for when tapping on these different uh, actions here so when you click on alarm it usually opens the alarm program but if you wanted to change that to say G alarm you can set it to that and it'll open G alarm same with the calendar and tasks maybe you want to use thumb cow or a different program you can set it to those too so let's go back and go to appointments we can set the appointment range we can hide or show the appointments or set it to auto so only when you have an appointment same with call history and voicemail and now we have options for the tasks range and show completed tasks we can also sort the tasks according to start date or due date and finally let's go to miscellaneous settings at the top is where we can change the animation style for when you swipe up and down on the home screen so we can set that to none if you have a very slow device and you can set it to simple or you can set it to optimized if you wanted to you can set it to the original style animations but I only recommend that if you have an HD2 
This is a Touch Pro 2 by the way. We can retract the slider, set the timeout for that. We can disable the clock flip animation. Show this show or hide the seconds hand for the analog clock. Turn on the level editing mode and we can set uh, the swipe to circle so if you keep swiping it'll just keep going up and down on your home tabs and we can set the lowest and highest levels for when you swipe so if you only wanted to have maybe two levels you can set it to that or maybe if you only wanted the main home screen you can just set it to one and you won't be able to switch between any of the other screens for the wallpaper we can set it to regular which we saw before or you can set it to HD walls if you have that application we can change the main text color and the subtext color at the bottom we can enable the sun rays and change the operator text so those were the settings of cookies home tab that's it for now but I'll post links for cookies home tab bot version 1.8 on pocketnow.com and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. Thanks for watching.